York City bus routes will no longer accept fares. A new pilot program starting in September will offer free rides on five different routes, one in each borough. Who doesn't like free? The selected routes will serve nearly 44,000 riders every week. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Carlo has more from the Upper West Side. Days away from the vote on the dreaded fare hike, what so many New Yorkers have begrudgingly accepted as a routine part of using public transit, the MTA today shockingly telling riders they soon won't have to pay for something. I think that's real convenient for everybody, especially, you know, like the elderly and then people that don't really, you know, have the money to get it. Don't get too excited. There will still be a vote on fare hikes Wednesday, one that could hike up subway fares by 15 cents. But today, the MTA announced five bus routes, one in each bus that will be free of charge for at least six months, starting September 24th. The M116 being one of them. A good pick, Mary says. It's a very important route because it goes right through the business part of Harlem and all kinds of places. The MTA says it looked at ridership, equity, and access when selecting the routes in this freebie pilot program it's mandated by state law to implement. To some riders, it's no surprise as to why. And they're just sort of giving into what's happening already, which is people aren't paying for it. And it's it's a, co a big cost. It's not fair for people who pay the fare, and some people go in the back of the door and they don't pay nothing. I say, come on. The MTA says fare evasion cost it $600 million last year, more than half of that loss from bus fare beaters. But just because some riders will soon catch a break, doesn't mean the system will be further taken advantage of. Will you be monitoring where these buses have transfers to other routes and or subways to make sure that fares are not being evaded when they make the transfers? Yes, that's certainly something that we do want to look at. The MTA says first it'll make riders aware of lower cost opportunities and then send out inspectors to enforce fare evasion.